the whole thing is I would have never gotten to where I wanted to get had I not pursued being an astronaut. I'm um, Chad Kennedy, so I'm the chair, actually the graduate chair of the Technology Entrepreneurship Management Program here at the Polytechnic campus. I've been here since 2015. I love it here. I've been in the field of entrepreneurship and entrepreneurship in industry, and then also been a researcher, been involved in biomedical engineering. You know, trying to be able to bring those things together into one program is amazing. I kind of fell into the industry in an interesting way. I grew up in Reno Lake Tahoe area. I would love to go outside. I actually started mountain biking before there was mountain biking. Initially, I wanted to be an astronaut. That was my impetus for wanting to get into engineering in the first place. I remember looking at different schools back in the day. They basically said, go to Texas. So tech, off to Texas, I went. When I was there, I was, thought I was gonna go into aerospace engineering and, and do all these things. That's what I thought I was supposed to do. But I had some professors say, you should stay in mechanical engineering and then you can do whatever you want in that space. When I was at University of Texas and I, I went to the person who did the coordination, he told me that, yeah, well, you can apply for NASA, but your chances are probably slim. So I ended up finding out how to contact the person on the other end at NASA who actually did all the interviews and made those decisions. Just completely bypassed the other system. From there, we just had a great conversation. It turned into working at NASA which was wonderful. I did like three different tours uh, doing different types of, of projects there. From there, I went into Silicon Valley, actually with my first job. What I realized while I was there was in order to have a shot at being an astronaut, you had to have a PhD, and that was my goal. The one thing that really was, was painful to learn was that my eyesight didn't qualify. And so that I had to re-identify re myself with, okay, what... Um, what's something that I could still be passionate about? And that's where bioengineering came in, which was kind of inspired from when I was first in the dorms. I lived on the first floor. That's where a lot of people, if they have physical disabilities, also live. So I ended up becoming friends with a lot of people who had lots of different physical disabilities. And it just dawned on me, it's like, wow, if I could just spend you know, part of my mind in engineering things to help people's lives you know, and make it better, that seems far more worthwhile than trying to have a company clean up their act and then have them decide not to. And that was my actual first introduction to ASU. It was a new program at the time. It was pr really small. When I got to join the bioengineering program, the environment, which was one of the things that really attracted me to ASU, was not so much a competitive environment. It was actually a cooperative environment. Everybody wanted to help everybody on whatever they needed with their project. Loved helping a lot of students kind of launch themselves. Really trying to learn how to meet people where they are and work with them to figure out how can we get them to learn and get beyond this so they can start the next phase of their life successfully. 